Welcome to the second lesson in this series. Now that we have learned how SongMaker works, we are now ready to begin to create our own music. But don't let this step intimidate you. I encourage you to relax and have a lot of fun with this. I'll give you some tips to help you along the way, which is what this video is all about. Think of these tips as guidelines. Music is an art, not a science. There are general guidelines that we can follow to make the music more interesting, but even these more basic guidelines that I'm going to give you today are meant to be broken for the sake of creativity. There are four main points that I will cover in this video. I will start by giving you an overview of each of them, and then I will further explain them by writing something for you as an example in Song Maker. The first topic is melodic contour. Contour, what is that? Contour is a fancy term we musicians use meaning shape. When we say melodic contour, we are referring to the shape of a melody. When we craft a melody, we want it to have an interesting contour that has character. How do we do that? Well, one way is simply having direction changes in the melody. So we want to have melodies that go up as well as down, as well as some repeated notes. Another way is um, generally speaking, we want a melody to have mostly steps. And when we do have large leaps, we want the leaps to be countered with a step in the opposite direction. Now, as I am saying this, I can think of several examples that break each of these guidelines that I just gave you. But let's use these as a starting point and talk deeper about each of them. First, what is a step in music? Well, it is very easy to demonstrate this in Song Maker. A step simply moves up or down one block from the previous note. So if I start with this red block here, a step up would go to the orange block. A step up from the orange block is the yellow block. A step down from the yellow block is going back to the orange block. So that's a step. What is a leap? A leap merely skips one or more blocks. If we start out with a yellow block, for example, a skip is green or anything above that block. All right, so going back to our guidelines, there should be, one of the rules is there should be mostly steps in a melody. That is box to the very next box. Another rule is large leaps should be countered with a step in the opposite direction. So generally speaking, if we skip a box, we want to go back in the opposite direction by step. Finally, we would have direction changes within the melody. So in other words, we do not want to go in the same direction for on and on and on. Rather, we want to have some more shape to the melody. That covers melodic contour. The next topic is rhythm. Generally speaking, to create an interesting rhythm, we want to vary the note values with mostly medium to short note values. So in Song Maker, a medium note value would take up about four of these horizontal boxes. Short note values would be everything shorter than that, and long note values would be anything longer than that. Now, that really depends on the context in which you are writing, but for now, let's just assume that this is true as a general guideline. So what does that mean? So we want to have mostly notes that are four boxes or shorter, but we also want to vary that with some longer notes. And also, generally speaking, musical ideas start with shorter note values and musical ideas end with longer note values. And I will show you more what I mean about this guideline later in one of my examples. While we're on the topic of rhythm, let's talk about non-pitched percussion instruments. As I described in the last lesson, non-pitched percussion instruments provide a foundation for the beat, and they also provide added color to the music. I will give you two different basic 
rhythmic patterns. One will be a rock beat, and the other will be an EDM beat. There are many different types of patterns in different genres, but these are two basic ones, and I don't want to give you a large list, so I'll start with these two, and uh, you can play around with them. You want to vary them, of course, but anyway, a basic rock beat starts with the lower box and alternates that with the higher box, so that's kick drum followed by a snare, and these occur on the beat, so it'll sound like this. And then the EDM, or electronic dance music basic uh, formula, is what they call four on the floor. And that's where the kick drum occurs four times um, each measure or each section on the bottom box or the, on the, on the uh, bass drum. And then it just repeats that, so it'll sound like this. So these are the basic formulas. However, we also want to vary these formulas because then if we use these formulas just as is, then it can become predictable, and we do not want that. But these will be the backbone ideas behind the beats for these different, two different genres. I'll describe the next two tips very briefly now, and elaborate through examples later, because these concepts are really better understood through examples. So let's get started. When we write music, we want to balance repetition with variety. In other words, we want to be repetitive, but in a varied manner. This allows the music to have unity without being monotonous. This will become clear in what I mean through examples that I provide. The last thing is we want to have clear sections in our music. This will happen through rhythm and melodic contour. So let me go ahead and give you an example of what I mean by putting all of these rules together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make music on the spot, very briefly describing what I'm doing, and then we will take a closer look at it after I'm finished. All right, let's start with a basic rock beat. I will vary this later, but let's go ahead and input just the basic rock beat. Now, the melody. Let's start with a large leap and a step in the opposite direction. And I'll vary the rhythm. Now let's balance repetition with variety. I think at this point these red notes are going to start to sound monotonous. Also, I have a lot of shorter notes. Additionally, I want to make this sound like the start of another section. Let's end it with something like the beginning, but not quite. Okay, this rock beat is going to sound boring if I don't add extra flair, so let's do this. And this section is going to sound dead here. Also, this is going to sound predictable. So let's change this up a bit. And let's finish it off this way. All right, let's hear it now. Okay, it needs a little something here. Let's try this. And there we go. 